to my channel if you're new here. My name is Bailey and I'm so glad that you have stumbled upon this video. I am going to be vlogging today so I've been doing a ton of sit down videos which I genuinely love. They're my favorite to film and edit but I thought it would be fun to kind of take you guys along with me this weekend. It is Memorial Day weekend and I actually already started this vlog on Thursday but I didn't intro any of that video footage. So I'm going to be playing that here soon, but real quick, if you're new here, make sure to give this video a thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button down below. It means the world to me when you guys subscribe to my channel. But yeah, so Thursday I started this vlog because we found out interesting news about Indy. So also, if you hear that loud racket in the back, it's because we're working on the garage today and I'm going to be showing you guys that later in today's video. But yeah, so Thursday we took it into the vet to find out what she's expecting. So I'm going to put that footage in right here. Hey guys, so I am in the car right now on my way to Indy's vet appointment. I have her in the back. Indy, you can see her. There she is. Um, yes, so we are on our way to the vet to find out if Indy is indeed pregnant and expecting puppies by the end of June. I think her due date, if she's pregnant, will be around June 27th. So we are on our way there now, which is so exciting. I always get so nervous when we go to these type of, of appointments because I'm just really nervous of the outcome and, you know, if she's going to be pregnant or not. But, and sorry for all the loud noises, it's literally so hot outside today, so we have the windows down. But I'm pretty sure she is pregnant because literally she's showing all the signs she did last litter when she was pregnant. And then um, she's like gaining weight, her belly's getting bigger, her nipples never went back down after her heat. Um, she's eating off my counters again. She literally ate a whole tortilla, soft tortilla, off the counter last night when we, uh, me and Matt were eating tacos. So she's definitely showing all the bright signs that she is pregnant. So this will just confirm that so we can start, you know, we've been preparing, but we can really start, you know, getting prepared. That's one thing that's super crazy about dog birth and uh, pregnancy and stuff like that is they're literally pregnant only for like two months so you breed them a month goes by you find out they're actually pregnant and then by the time you find out they're actually pregnant you only have a month until puppies are born so you kind of have to prepare before you know for sure if you're having puppies just because you only have a very short amount of time between when you find out they are pregnant to when they whelp their litter um you know it's just a really really quick turnaround uh, which is good because I'm impatient and it takes a lot of strong will for me to wait because I get so excited and I'm so ready for puppies and stuff like that so that's the good part of it but the bad part is that if you don't prepare early on even without knowing for sure they're pregnant um, you definitely might not have time to get prepared especially if you're OCD and it's particular about things as I am so it's super windy we've got the windows down and he's enjoying herself so I am going to get off of this and then I'm hopefully going to film in there while they're doing the ultrasound. Try to get to put some puppies on the screen if she is indeed pregnant and then I'll catch up with you guys on our way home. In the exam room. You're fast. Oh, she's feisty too. The other day she almost had a whole piece of pizza in her mouth and I managed to uh, get it out of her mouth. Yes, so we, I think it's Yeah, we're pregnant. We'll see, maybe. Oh, yeah. The babies. The babies. Yeah, I think they're too tiny. <laughs> All right, guys. I am back home, off of work, and I'm sitting in our featured dog room slash puppy nursery. I'm currently filming all the behind the scenes of every single step that we are doing in here, and it's literally been like, so such a long process but i don't think we're halfway there but we're getting there so i'm sitting in there now so you get a little bit of a sneak peek but i'm about to put together this little utility cart or tent um that i'm going to be using with in these puppies and stuff but i just wanted to hop on here and kind of recap the footage from before earlier at the vet because i was running late to, to go back to work so i didn't have time to film really any kind of follow-up but yes indy is pregnant they the vet said that she saw like nine puppies at least so i'm expecting another large litter nine to ten puppies again it would be awesome if we had more than ten it would also be kind of stressful so we're hoping i mean it would it would be awesome to have more than ten but kind of stressful and they have the ball 
sorry about that. So yeah, I am very excited. Indy is excited to be a mama again. She is such a good mom. Um, we're currently taking deposits on this litter. Um, I'm gonna take five deposits before they're born and then once they are born, uh, around a week after that, if everyone has like survived and past the first week, we'll take the last remainder of the deposits, mainly all of all off of our wait list. If we do end up having any availability, I will post it on our Rose and Reed Doodles Instagram on stories. And it'll be kind of like a first come first serve. Like obviously if you're interested, you'll have to fill out my puppy application. I'll have to review it. But then once you do that, you're the first one um, to inquire. You'll get to purchase that puppy, but I doubt we will have any available once I work my way through the wait list. But if we do, that is how you could get one. Um, and then if you're interested in a future Rosemary Doodle, um, you can hold off and wait until the fall because we are gonna be releasing a new waitlist system in the fall and um, late fall probably. Um, once this litter has went home, we've kind of taken a break because after litters, you really need a break. And then we will launch that on our website and on our Instagram as well. We'll announce when that's live um, so you can feel all, all of that. So yeah, I'm excited. This is gonna be our puppy room. It's, I'm so excited. It's gonna be great, but I'm gonna hold off and show you anything because I really want you guys to see it in the whole like reveal slash tour everything like that so yeah i just wanted to update you guys um today is thursday i'm going to pick up the vlog back up probably some tomorrow it's matt's birthday and then saturday as well because we're going out on the lake for memorial day and yeah you guys will see me in like two seconds but i'll see you guys tomorrow so yes so exciting indy is now expecting we are so so excited i am literally just so ready for puppies and for puppy content and all of that and share it all with you guys so if you want to see more puppies and puppy content all that sort of stuff subscribe down below because you're not going to want to miss it she's i think i said it in the footage that you just watched but she's due june 27th around that time frame so they're going to be here before we know it so yeah today matt and i are working on our garage so we are doing a garage transformation slash like flip i guess and we're turning it into our dog room slash puppy nursery type situation and i am going to be doing a whole video on the entire pro process chair's gonna squeak his ball i am going to be doing a whole video on the entire process but i want to also kind of share with you guys some today as a little teaser because that video isn't going to be out for quite some time but it's got literally like from the very beginning when it was filled with stuff skills so that video is going to have a ton of content in it um, and I'm going to wait to share everything in that video. But today I thought it would be fun to kind of show you guys a little behind the scenes, what we're doing, um, and include that in today's vlog as well. Because honestly, that is the majority of what we are doing today. We are going to be having um, my sisters over later tonight for some burgers, I believe. Um, I got Matt a Blackstone for his birthday. I don't even think I mentioned this, but his birthday was yesterday. I didn't film anything yesterday because we worked all day and then we had his brother Connor's graduation. We were also supposed to go on the lake today, but it ended up being really cloudy and rainy, so we're going Monday. But yes, I'm going to try to vlog content for you guys today and probably even into tomorrow and then try to get this up by Monday for you guys. So yeah, that is my little spill. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me take Andy to the vet and get her ultrasound done. I'm just so excited for puppies. And yeah, I will catch up with you guys in a little bit okay guys so here we are in the garage you guys are getting to see footage that we've not showed anyone because we haven't been filming any of this but basically today matt is taking this window out and turning it into a door with that door because that leads right into our backyard as you can see right there our fenced in backyard for the dogs we've got countertop space there i am going to be cleaning that today that is my job cleaning that and the garage door here and yeah, so this is kind of what we're working with. We've got some of the flooring down. Harlow's probably eating a bug. Yeah, so it's coming along slowly but surely. And I'm excited to show you guys the whole video of the garage transformation. But for now, this is what you get to see. Cute puppy. Have it on my way up. Now it's really far down I don't think I'll feel it when I hit the ground In October it feels like summertime I keep falling for you like every night 
All right, guys, it is a bit later, and I have stopped cleaning the wall for a second because it's 12.56, and I started getting hungry for some lunch. So, like I said, we were supposed to go on like today, but we ended up not. We had got a lot of stuff to make sandwiches and stuff, and although we're still going Monday, I'm going to go ahead and make the chicken salad that I was going to cook for the lake because I'm kind of craving chicken salad because I thought I was having it today. So, I've never made chicken salad before, but... We're just gonna wing it. So I've got a couple of ingredients that like the internet said to get and then I'm gonna add in some stuff just to see if I like it. So for instance, we're gonna do, obviously we're gonna boil our chicken. I've got my raw chicken here. I'm waiting on my water to boil. I'm not gonna show you raw chicken, cause ew. Got some grapes. I like my chicken salad with grapes. I have this nut and cranberry mixture. Um, I told my sister, Lainey, who got all this stuff to get almonds, sliced almonds and she could not find the almonds, so we're not shocked, but I already had this, so I'm just going to throw that in there. I've got some relish I'm going to throw in there, some Dijon mustard, and some mayonnaise. So I'm just, and then like salt and pepper and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm just kind of winging it. Hopefully it'll end up being good. And then we've got croissants for it to go in, or go on to, so that's super yummy. And then Matt will probably just eat like a ham and cheese croissant or sandwich or something because he doesn't like chicken salad because he's weird um i do leave the celery out of my chicken salad though because i hate celery so i do not use it in my chicken salad so that is what i'm doing now and i guess i'll just check up with you guys once it's finished or once i'm making it or putting it together i don't know stay tuned yeah, we should take it slow, just like day by day, like day by day. I'm all up in the clouds when it's pouring rain. Ain't never coming down unless you call my name. Yeah, we should take it slow, just like day by day, like day by day. Pizza a little too hot. <laughs> Hello guys, happy Monday. I didn't end up vlogging literally any yesterday. Worst vlog award goes to me, but today we are going on the lake, so I thought I would go ahead and continue the vlog into today and I'll just edit it all tonight to get it uploaded hopefully tomorrow. But I am right now going to be making some sandwiches and cutting up some fruit for our lake day. My sisters are texting me now because that's who we're going with. We're going with me and Matt and my sister and her boyfriend and then my other sister. Oh, that is loud. So that is the plan for today once again. Sorry, I did not vlog yesterday. We just uh, went to church, spent the day hanging out and then working on the garage. And I didn't want to film all of the garage because we are doing a whole video on that. 
So I'm going to make some sandwiches and I'll catch up to you guys in a little bit. As you saw earlier, I was cutting up fruit and getting ready for the lake, and we are here now. There's the lake. I don't know if you can see because my camera's kind of overexposed. It's super bright out, but we are at the lake waiting on them to get the boat ready and everything. Um, it is actually kind of cold, so not sure how well this lake day is going to go and how much fun it's going to be because it is so cold. But I even like brought a blanket for the boat just in case it gets super cold. Um, but yeah, so I am just waiting on Matt. He is figuring out what boat we are using now. And then once he gets all that figured out, we're going to get the cooler and all of our stuff onto the boat and then head out for the day. Get out of here, Say hello to the vlog. Hello. What's up, vlog? Hey, vlog. It's Frank here. <laughs> Frank. <laughs> Hashtag AKK. I don't know if you can see anything or not. We are out here. We are 50 shades of burnt. <laughs> <laughs> That's a white people. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright guys, we're back from the lake. Matt, what are you doing to your legs? Let me see. He's got shaving cream all over his legs because he is super sunburnt. He got us all these goodies from the dollar store. I just finished eating my dinner. And then I am very sunburnt as well, as you can tell. It doesn't look any better in different lighting. So sunburnt. My shoulders are sunburnt. Everything is sunburnt. I don't know why we didn't put on sunscreen earlier than we did, but what can we do about it now? I bet my scalp's really sunburnt too. Oh, look oh well. So this freaking lighting is so bad in here. Yeah. So that is what we did today. We spent the whole day on the lake. I got a little bit of footage. Not too much. And then now I'm about to go set up in the Jagger's pool and let them play in that for a second. Um, I don't know if they will play in it or not. But I thought since we had been at the lake all day and they've been up more basically all day that I would give them something fun to do um, before we start the work week. So yeah, give me just a second and I'll show you guys. All right, guys, I wanted to thank this brand, Lanou, for sponsoring this part of today's video. So, Lanou is a pet friendly pool specifically made for pets. We have the dark gray extra large pet pool that I am going to be pulling out and showing you guys how to set up here. It's super simple and literally so convenient because it is foldable and makes transporting it and taking it different places so easy. And also, I wanted to mention that it is slip resistant. So, the bottom is made so that your kid or your dog will not slip in the pool, which is really important to us because we are all about hip and joint health here with our dogs. And it really is important that they have a non-slippery surface to enjoy because Indy is constantly jumping in and out of the pool. And if it was a slippery surface, she would very easily get hurt. So we really love this pool. And as you can see, I'm showing you guys here how I am setting it up and then I'm just filling it up with a little bit of water. Ours was really dirty because we had used it earlier on this week. But as you can tell, Indy is literally obsessed with this pool. She loves getting in it and sometimes she'll lay down. She also likes when I throw her toys in there and she goes and gets them. And overall, we just really love this pool. You can check out this pool at the link in my description. If you want to get your own for your pet, I highly recommend it. Ours absolutely love theirs. 
Also, when you're ready to stop using your pool, you just twist the cap on the side and the water literally just flows right out. And then once the pool is completely empty, you just fold it right back up and stick it back in its box. Super simple and easy and really easy to transport if you want to take it somewhere else for your pet to enjoy. I'm all up in the clouds when it's pouring rain Ain't never coming down unless you call my name all right guys that is going to be all for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button down below i'll also be leaving a link down below to the pet pool so if you guys want to get your own pet pool for your dogs i highly recommend it mine love there as well I wouldn't say all of them but indy loves it she's our water girl but i will be leaving that link down below as well thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you guys in my next video bye